Bentley. I always thought it was a measurement of terrain or something. Okay, a measurement of what? Terrain. Terrain, okay. So a measurement of the ground. I like that he said measurement because a perimeter is a measurement. Do we know anything else about perimeter? Can you? Would it measure blocks or something? Okay, maybe it measures blocks. Okay, we can see that there are some squares here. So you think maybe it measures blocks. What do you think, Joseph? What do you know about perimeter? Okay, last one, Emily. It measures the sides. Give me five. Yes, Emily is correct. The perimeter is the distance around a shape. So perimeter is measuring the sides of a shape, like Emily and Emily said. So is that what graph paper, graph paper is for? Graph, graph paper can be used for several things, but yes. Measuring perimeter is one thing that graph paper can be used for. So the perimeter, Kayla, is the distance around a shape, or yes, the distance around a shape, measuring the outside of a shape. Okay, please leave the chair alone and come to the carpet. Okay, there's one more word that <coughs> I wanna talk about, and that is area. Raise your hand if you've heard the word area. Awesome, put your hands down. Raise your hand if you know something about area. Desney, what is area? A big space, okay? Kenya, what do you know about area? A number of something. Okay, a number, so maybe a measurement. It's a number of something. It has to do with space. Kayla, what do you know about area? Like this is my area. Okay, the space around you is your area. A bubble. Okay, I like that, Billy. A measurement of space. Okay. Bubble. A measurement of space, okay? <laughs> this word card says that area is the number of square units needed to cover a flat surface, okay? So an area is the measurement of space, and we are going to be measuring area in square units, Emily and Aiden, okay? Square units, okay? A square unit is just I know a square unit one is. unit of area, okay? Oh. With dimensions one by one, so it's one square. Okay. So if we're, oh. okay, if we're measuring the area, we want to know how much space is taken up in a shape. We're going to count it by square units, which is just one square. So in this shape right here, Thomas, please take your hood off. Thank you. We've got, a, uh, we need to count how many square units are in this shape. So I'm going to count each square as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the area of this shape is 12 square units, okay? So let's compare area and perimeter. What is, the, what is similar, what similarities do you know about perimeter and area? Emily? They measure shapes. They both help us measure shapes, absolutely. What is different about area and perimeter, Ryder? Kind of what they both use. Check your voice, please. Okay, they both use blocks to help us measure. Yeah, Absolutely. What else, Bentley? Um, a perimeter like measures how wide it is, like the sides and stuff, and the area measures like every single block. Okay, the area measures the amount of space inside a shape, yeah. the insides. Aiden, please come away from that and sit up tall on the carpet for us, with us. The perimeter measures the outside. Okay, so have you ever heard a spy on a spy movie? They say, We're gonna, I'm going to scan the perimeter. Yeah. That means they're going to walk around the edge of the rocks. property to see if anyone's rocks. coming. So the perimeter is the outside. The area is the inside. We're going to talk more about area and perimeter today as we work with words and then throughout the week. Okay, so what we're going to do with our words is going to be something new. Okay. Oh.